while the Obama administration is arming al-Qaeda terrorists in Syria. Meanwhile, here in the United States, there is an ongoing media campaign to demonize patriots, constitutionalists, as potential domestic terrorists. And, you know, this all started when the Department of Homeland Security, they issued a study that characterized liberty lovers as terrorists. It also listed Americans who are suspicious of centralized federal authority and people who believe, Marcos, at the very bottom, if you scroll down, it says it right there, people who believe in conspiracy theories. Well, they might be a terrorist as well. And when you know it, in the months that followed, we began to see the propaganda machine in full swing. First, the TV network AMC, well, they came out with a television show called We Hate Paul Revere. Then there was a show on Fox, uh, what was it called, The Following? Yeah, there it is, The Following. That's where they portrayed constitutionalists and militia members as serial killers and terrorists. Of course, they were serial killers and terrorists. And you might remember Chris Matthews. It was a few months ago. He ran a special report. It was about right-wing extremists, hate groups, militias in America. Of course, it featured Alex Jones and basically said Alex is largely responsible for the rise of hate crimes and domestic terrorism in the United States. So those are just a few examples of how, you know, they are targeting patriot groups. It seems like every time we turn around, there is a propaganda attack against constitutionalists and patriots. And now the propaganda is slickly disguised as a video game. Here's Jakari Jackson with a special report. This is for the homes you foreclosed on, the bailouts you took. We are the true patriots. The long in development Rainbow Six Patriots has been confirmed for the next generation of gaming consoles. I'm Jakari Jackson with an InfoWars news alert. Now, of course, the next generation of gaming consoles not only includes PlayStation 4, but also Xbox One, the same Xbox which is made by Microsoft, which has been alleged in the Prism scandal, which contains advanced tracking features in their unit, but that's not the point of this report. Rainbow Six is a highly decorated tactical team, as the InfoWars.com article points out. Team Rainbow faces a new and very real threat called the True Patriots, a highly trained, well-organized revolutionary group that claim the American government is irrevocably corrupted by greedy politicians and corporate special interests. The True Patriots will do whatever it takes to reclaim their country. It goes on to say, players will face critical scenarios that will require them to make tough ethical decisions in order to stop this new breed of terrorists. We'll get to those tough ethical decisions in just one moment. And keep in mind, this is the statement from the game's own publisher, Ubisoft. Now, InfoWars has well documented in numerous reports how the mass media demonizes militia groups. The real programming is happening with these shows like Founding Fathers, where the guy that's pro-gun in Texas and leading the militia, he's really Al-Qaeda, which fits into the, Al the whole narrative that, oh, it's white Al-Qaeda, or gun owners are really Al-Qaeda. This game doesn't stop with just patriots. It also goes after survivalists people who can skin a buck and run a trot line. We'll do exactly what we say or we will feel dress her like a deer. This game is a mirror for real life. Not only when conservatives and patriots are targeted by the IRS, but also when the Department of Homeland Security trains to fight the quote, free American citizens in an exercise. And don't forget about the DHS's no hesitation targets. Now back to those ethical choices, Shooting police is nothing new in video games, but when you play a game such as Grand Theft Auto, the action is viewed as criminal and is often optional. But you'll see in this trailer for Rainbow Six, not only is the act of shooting police encouraged, it is mandated to advance in the game. And if you think that anything in this report has been taken out of context, listen to the game's former creative director, David Sears. Speaking of those terrorists, who are they now this time? They're, they're homegrown? What does that mean exactly? 
They're their homegrown. Uh, domestic terrorism is a pretty significant threat uh, facing the United States. And uh, it's the idea that terrorists now look just like you or me. So it makes differentiating between, you know, friend and foe a lot more difficult, which is totally new for Rainbow. Who was the first terrorist organization in the United States? <clears throat> Who? Founded by the Founding Fathers. Founding Fathers. You mean Thomas Jefferson? Oh, yeah. You mean uh, George Washington? Oh, yeah. Paul Revere? Yeah. And we'll end with the December 2011 edition of Game Informer magazine. It asked the question, you fought Nazi, Russian, North Korean, and Middle Eastern threats. Rainbow Six Patriots ask, can you turn your weapon on your fellow countrymen? No, hey, no, 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 don't do this. No, 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 what did you do? What I had to do. So targeting Americans, killing hostages, and shooting police because using a radio was too inconvenient, that's the new Rainbow Six Patriots. And many real patriots have not taken this line down. They've gone to the Ubisoft website, their Facebook page, and their Twitter page, and voiced their disgust. I'm Jakari Jackson with an InfoWars News Alert. We will field dress her like a deer. So do you have what it takes to pull the trigger on a U.S. citizen? Huh? Do you, punk? You know, that's not only propaganda. That, that's conditioning right there. And look at that, man. They're, they're shooting cops, throwing a U.S. citizen, killing a U.S. citizen, throwing them over the, the bridge like that. So... Hey, you can learn more about the Rainbow Six Patriots video game in an article posted by Adon Salazar at Infowars.com. It's titled Video Game Cast Tea Party and Patriot Groups as Enemy Terrorist. And it also has, you know, the um, video clip of the game at the bottom of the page. So, I mean, you got to see it to believe it. Check it out. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants, fruits, vegetables, nuts, you name it. And the globalists have been going after gardening. They've been harassing people that have gardens in their front yards or their backyards. They've called for licenses for people to have gardens because you can't trust prisoners in the police state America to be able to grow their own food. That's why I've come to the realization that we need to become self-sufficient. You need to be informed. You need to have the Second Amendment to protect yourself. You need to be politically active to wake up others. You need to filter your water but you also need to plant a garden. Even if you live in an apartment, you can do this. If you live in the countryside, obviously you can do it on a grand scale. There are so many green belts in areas uh, that humans don't even visit uh, nearby cities and in suburbs where people are now more and more planting their own little private gardens and meadows and off the side of the road. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest of times. The ARC All-in-One Seed Kit contains 70 varieties of 50,000 seeds of fruits, vegetables, medicinal, and culinary herbs. All ARC seeds are heirloom. Each type is labeled and sealed separately for ease of use and longevity. The Deluxe Emergency Seed Bank combines three of Emergency Seed Bank's top sellers, the Family Survival Emergency Seed Bank, the Medicinal Herb Seeds Pack, and the Culinary Herb Seeds Pack. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, and medicinal herbs and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. A little seed can grow a huge tree that produces fruit for up to 50 years. We have the best life bombs. That's what these are. We have the best weapons against death out there at the lowest prices waiting for you to lovingly plant them and lovingly grow them and lovingly eat them and share them with others. 
we will strike back against the New World Order, and this is only one more initiative in our fight against them. So please join us at InfoWarsShop.com, or you can link through at InfoWars.com at the InfoWars Seed Center.